Ever wonder how the over 50 woman stays modern, fresh, and relevant in a culture that's obsessed with youth? Well, I'm sharing some tips today. It's all coming up next at Style at a Certain Age. Hi ladies, it's Beth. Thanks so much for stopping by today. And I always wish my very first time visitors a warm welcome. Hit the subscription box before you go so you don't miss any videos coming your way. And if you're looking for style inspiration, I have channels over on Facebook and Instagram with loads of style tips and tricks. And I also have a lovely lifestyle blog, styletocertainage.com, where you'll find health and wellness, recipes, cocktails, and my German Shepherd Oscar. There is no doubt that we live in a youth-obsessed culture. All we have to do is flip on the TV, look at an ad, or scroll through our social media accounts to see that everything is geared towards looking healthy, vivacious, and young. But I think the times, they are a-changing, and more and more we're turning that needle where there is an interest in our demographic. And when I say our demographic, I'm talking about the over 50 woman or women of a certain age. And I'm here to tell you that we have lots and lots of things to offer. And one of the things that is so important is that our age groups stay modern, fresh, and relevant. And that's why this channel is dedicated to aging with grace, strength, and beauty, because it's not about looking younger, it's about looking the best that we can so that we can step out the door every day with confidence. So I have just a few quick tips. Some are super, super easy that you can incorporate in your life to keep us looking the best that we can, to keep us looking modern and fresh. Let's go. So my first tip to stay modern, fresh, and relevant is add trends in judiciously. And I say that with a grain of salt because I don't want us to follow trends blindly, but we do need to stay abreast of what's going on with hairstyles because you know, hair trends come and go. Certain cuts are always classic, but certain cuts have a moment in the sun. So we need to be paying attention to that because something that will be very aging is having the wrong hairstyle. So enter into the, the trend world, as I said, judiciously, pay attention to your haircuts, Another thing is skincare. We have made so many advances in the last, even the last five years, but for sure for since you know 1970. It is just amazing the products that we have at our beck and call to make our skin look and feel its very, very best. So pay attention to what's trending, you know, what those ingredients are these days that we need to have in our medicine chest. And, and I have loads and loads of videos about anti-aging skincare. So, you know, please feel free to, to take your pick with those. And I'll link of several in down below. But we have to be paying attention to skincare products and what's current and what's fresh. And the last thing that I will say as far as trends and, and adding them in judiciously, and that's what is with our makeup. Makeup changes all of the time. I mean, can you remember back in the 70s when, and I still have the effects of it, you know, when we plucked our eyebrows in this very thin line, and then Brooke Shields came along in the 80s, and then bushy eyebrows were all the rage. And now eyebrows really are, they, they frame our face, and they're, they're very, they're beautifully um, molded these days. So it's, it's not a very thin line, they're not very bushy, but the, it's a very beautiful, solid look. So pay attention to your makeup, pay attention to like eyebrows, you know, keeping your look very, very fresh. Uh, I know that, you know, uh, I love blue eyeshadow when I was in uh, my, my teens and in my 20s, but I rarely use that nowadays because now we're into the, the neutral tones and the neutral colors and the neutral color scheme. So if you need some help as far as makeup, I have a wonderful friend, her name is Jennifer Duvall, and she actually offers virtual makeup lessons. She's a makeup artist. She does, uh, she's very, very talented. She's in the social media world. And so I'll, I'll link up her contact information down below. 
but she's also done weddings and big events and you know very very talented young woman and i say young i mean she's she's in her early 40s but so if you need some help in freshening up your makeup you can book a virtual lesson you can go on youtube again i have some tutorials out there i'm not perfect i mean i'm not a makeup artist i'm, I'm just like you i'm trying to learn and grow every day but we can't forget to stay abreast of trends and add them into our lives judiciously. So my second tip for the mature woman to stay modern, fresh, and relevant is develop a style formula. Yes, it's very important, even in these trying days when we have very few places to go, to step out the door in confidence. And one of the ways that you can do that in a very quick and easy way is to develop a style formula. And I've shared mine many, many times, and I'll share mine again. And that is, I call it the four Bs. So that's a blazer, blue jeans, a button down, and ballet flats. And you can tweak that. But that is my go-to formula. I know that no matter what season it is, I have a blazer, you know, for, for summer. I have a blazer for winter. I can grab that. I can grab a silk blouse or a cotton button down. I can add my blue jeans, preferably dark rinse and then either ballet flats, or if I'm feeling that I wanna be a little sexy, I'll throw on some pumps. But yes, it's very important to just identify one style formula that you can incorporate into your wardrobe so you can step out the door, as I said, in confidence, because nothing is sexier than a confident woman, even when we're over 50. My next tip for the over 50 woman or the mature woman to look modern, fresh, and relevant is simply wear a smile. Do you know how contagious smiles are? Well, if you don't, then I have a challenge for you. Pick out one day when you're out and about, whether that's at the grocery store, maybe you have to go to the pharmacy, maybe it's, um, you know, you have to take your pet to the veterinarian, whatever it is, Freely give away a smile and see what happens in return. And I guarantee you, you're going to brighten someone else's life up, but you're going to brighten your own life up. And there's nothing more attractive than a happy person, a person with a smile on their face. So I'm going to go encourage you. It costs absolutely nothing, but go put a smile on your face and just see how modern and fresh you actually look. My next tip for staying modern, fresh, and relevant also takes no money at all, and that is good posture. Yes, standing up straight, having good posture takes your demeanor to a whole nother level. Nothing is more aging than a very you know, slouched, you know, crunched over look. Although it's very easy for us to, de to develop poor habits, we're at our keyboards, we're, you know, looking at our phones, and there's just so many opportunities to really bend over. But I have a quick, easy exercise for you so you can focus on your posture. And before we get into that, I also just wanted to, to mention that um, we also talk about a dowager's hump or a fatty hump on the back of our neck. And that can also be remedied by simple exercises and paying attention to our posture. So, are you ready? I'm gonna show you a really quick exercise. So first, all you have to do is put your hands up into a Y, hold that for 30 seconds, and bring those shoulders back. Then you're gonna bring it down to a W, continuing to pull your shoulders back, just pinch those shoulder blades together. Then we have a T, and then you just bring it home and just bring your elbows, just slide them in to each side. And as I said, hold each posture for 30 seconds and do that 10 times every day. You'll be amazed at how quickly you're gonna be standing up straight. And my last style tip to stay modern, fresh, and relevant at a certain age is a lip color. There's nothing that's gonna brighten your day faster than a beautiful lip. And there's so many new shades that are offered each and every year. There again, the trends come and they go, and we need to stay on top of what colors not only look best for us, but what colors are trending. 
And there's also different styles of a, a lipstick or lip gloss. I just received from NARS Makeup an amazing lip gloss that's completely matte and it's amazing. I love the color Freedom. They, they sent several to me and I'm testing them all out. But go and find a beautiful shade of lipstick that's going to keep you current, modern, and fresh and brighten your day. It's so important for us over 50 women to stay modern, fresh, and relevant. And that's why this channel is dedicated to aging with grace, strength, and beauty. I hope you found a few tips today. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and we can produce more content like this. Leave a comment down below because everyone loves to read each other's comments and interact with each other. But I'll see you again very, very, very soon. Bye-bye.